Hi guys, this is Ruthie and Clay Popple, and we're going to boil up our quail eggs. And so what's going on with these right now? All right, we washed them, and we put them in the thing, and see the ones that are floating? Those are the ones you take out, because what they did is they've been, they're older eggs, and they've collected the, I would normally just boil these up with them or separately, and give them back to the quail after chopping them up, but we're not going to do it this time. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to turn the the heat on, there's almost starting to flow, and then once it starts, you start getting the boil, you'll continue to stir them, but you want to boil them for, when the water starts to boil, you set your timer for three to five minutes, but you keep stirring them the whole time that they're boiling, because that keeps the, the yolks from sticking to the sides, and you have the yolk will be in the center of the, the whites. So what we're going to do is we're starting the water to boil, and uh, these are some of the eggs we've been collecting for the past week. These are the quail eggs. And we're going to make deviled quail eggs, and we're going to make pickled eggs out of these. But what you do is you lightly just keep them moving. Every now and then, if you get some that are floaters, you just take them out and get rid of them. Can you eat them? Yeah, but they're going to be not going to be a, a round egg. They're going to be a, a big air pocket. So it's not even worth messing with them. We're just going to get rid of them. We, it's not like we don't have plenty. Yeah, I think we have plenty. We get about 15 a day. And we lost one quail this morning. One female because she had a blowout. Now, I don't know if any of you know what a blowout is, but while they're laying eggs, the whole ass end of the bird will just blow right out and uh, it kills the bird, unfortunately. Um, it happens to chickens, mainly happens to chickens that are, uh, that are in cages. The farm chickens that lay the white eggs, the white leghorn, usually happens to them. You don't normally have that problem with with the farm chickens because they're not genetically bred for laying eggs like the white leghorn are. Do leghorns get blowouts? Yes, leghorns have blowouts all the time. So if you, they're the ones that lay the white eggs that you get from the supermarket. Like foghorn leghorn, only he was a rooster. Yeah. They're the white chickens. How do you like my hair? Can't see your hair, it's underneath the thing. I got what I got. What I got my hair wrapped in. A hair wrap. Coconut oil. <laughs> it makes it so nice and soft. But any eggs that are floating, you you get rid of them. That had nothing to do with quail. What the? <laughs> the the, the head wrap. No. <laughs> All right, I think I got anything that's gonna float. Just keep stirring them while they're. Oh, that one there is. They should settle on the bottom of your pan. Normally I would boil up those and grind them up and give them back to the birds for the protein and the calcium from the shells. But we're not going to mess with that this time because we let these set so long before we... The older the, the, older the eggs, the better they peel. So that's pretty much why we had to go through these. We're having a lazy daisy Saturday. So when we get these boiled up and we're going, when they get to be, the water gets boiling and we boil them for five minutes, then we're going to put them in an ice water bath for ten minutes and then let them set and then we're going to come back, come back and peel them and show you how we peel. Okay, bye bye.